Hello, viewers, and welcome to today's Open Heavens Reflection, a daily devotional written by Pastor Adeboye, the general of ourselves, the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Tunde Dada, a pastor in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Kingdom Builders family based in Luton. Today, we are considering the topic, Abuse of Power Forbidden. And our Bible passage is taken from 2 Samuel chapter 12. I read from verse 1 to 10. Then the Lord sent Nathan to David, and he came to him and said to him, There were two men in one city, one rich and the other poor. The rich man had exceedingly many flocks and herds, but the poor man had nothing except one little hill lamb, which he had bought and nourished, and he grew up together with him and with his children. It had of his own food and drank from his own cup and lay in his bosom, and it was like a daughter even to him. And a traveler came to the rich man who refused to take from his own flock and from his own herd to prepare one for the wayfaring man who had come to him. But he took the poor man's lamb and prepared it for the man who had come to him. So David's anger was greatly aroused against the man. And he said to Nathan, As the Lord lives, the man who has done this shall surely die, and he shall restore fourfold for the lamb, because he did this thing, and because he had no pity. Then Nathan said to David, You are the man, thus says the Lord God of Israel. I anointed you king over Israel, and I delivered you from the hand of Saul. I gave you your master's house and your master's wives into your keeping, and gave you the house of Israel and Judah. And if that had been too little, I also would have given you much more. Why have you despised the commandment of the Lord to do evil in his sight? You have killed Uriah the Etite with the sword. You have taken his wife to be your wife and have killed him with the sword of the people of Hammon. Now therefore the sword shall never depart from your house because you have despised me and have taken the wife of Uriah the Etite to be your wife. A memory verse, Matthew chapter 18 Verse 6, whoever curses one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. A reflection. In today's Open Heavens a Daily Devotion, Pastor Adeboye, the general verse of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, cautions against abuse of power as it is a very serious offense in God's eyes. In fact, God will go all out to protect the little ones, I mean the vulnerable ones, those that are considered to be nothing in the eyes of the world. And guess what? In our memory verse, Jesus defends these little ones and meets out a severe punishment for those who lead them to sin. Or as the King James Version of the Bible puts it, those who offend them. All power belongs to God, my brother and my sister. And those who have been given a measure of power on earth have been given that power by God. Therefore, to abuse that power is an insult to God. I want you to ask yourself this serious question today. How do you treat those who are serving under you at work? Those in your family and pastors, those in your church, directors and managers in our business organizations, how do you treat people under you? If you have been oppressing anyone or abusing the authority that God has given you, today you must repent and change your ways. And remember, this power that God has given you is, uh, is by grace. Grace is what God has offered you and this grace is to be used accordingly. Our action points today, according to Matthew chapter 18 verse 6, Drowning is a lighter punishment for oppressors of believers compared with what they will receive for their oppressive acts. Are you an oppressor? It's a question to you. I pray that the Lord will grant us help from above to do the right thing and to apply this grace that he has given to each one of us in the right way. Have a blessed day. And God be with you. Bye for now.